All right, so you want to deep dive into this whole Zach Bryan and Brianna chicken fry breakup. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. We've got uh, articles and social media posts and all kinds of stuff. And this one, I think, is going to be... Yeah. I think you're really going to like this one. Yeah. It's... Uh, really interesting. It's messy. Oh, yeah. And it really gets into kind of how celebrity culture and social media and modern relationships just all... It's all... Just all crash into each other yeah it's a fascinating case study for sure yeah and oh. especially when you consider how how the narrative like unfolded in real time almost entirely on social media yeah it was all yeah like it was just playing out uh -huh. you know for everyone to see right so it all started um october 22nd when zach bryan announced the breakup on his instagram stories yep and he used phrases like, you know, respect and love her and talked about it being an incredibly hard year personally. Mm -hmm. He even said, I am not perfect and never will be. <sighs> that last part is interesting. It's almost like he's acknowledging some personal accountability. Right. But without actually specifying what that might be. Yeah. It leaves a lot open to interpretation. Right. right. Which, of course, fans and the media were quick to fill in. Exactly. And then just 30 minutes later, Brianna posts on her Instagram story as well. Oh, wow. wow. And says that she felt blindsided. Oh, geez. And was going to step away from social media for a okay. while. The timing of that is very key here. Yeah. Yeah, because it suggests a very different emotional experience uh -huh. from Zach's more carefully worded statement. Right. And plus it raises the question of like, yeah. why would she feel blindsided yeah. if the relationship was already ending, as Zach implied? Yeah, and knowing your history makes it even more interesting, right? They met at the ACM Awards back in 2023. Oh, back in 2023, okay. They went public as a couple that July. Okay. Made their red carpet debut at the 2024 Grammys. Gotcha. So they were very much a public couple. Yeah, they were a couple, couple yeah. publicly. And they were celebrating their one-year anniversary in July of this year. So it's understandable that fans felt invested yes. in their relationship, right. which just adds another layer of complexity totally. to this very public split. Yeah, and then there's the added drama of their near-death experience Oh yeah. in a car crash back in May while on Zach's tour. That's right. Chicken Fry had posted about it on TikTok, mm -hmm. and shortly after... Zach shared this really heartfelt message, yeah, praising her strength. You have to wonder how that kind of shared trauma might influence yeah. how they're each processing this breakup now. Right. I mean, it's just like... That's a lot. That on top of everything else. Yeah. And it's definitely not your average celebrity couple narrative. Right. And then to make things even more interesting... Even more interesting. Okay. Dave Portnoy. Oh, boy. The Barstool Sports founder. Uh-huh. And Chicken Freeze co-host on their podcast, BFFs, yeah. tweets out a Taylor Swift song. Oh, no. Dedicated to Chicken Fry. Yeah. But what about the small man? Oh, his response was definitely pointed, to yeah. say the least. Yeah. And it brings up this whole question right. of how professional relationships yeah. intersect with personal lives, sure. especially in a media environment like Barstool, yeah. which is known for its, shall we say, unfiltered approach. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And Brianna didn't stay silent for long. She posted this tearful video on her YouTube channel. Okay. Clarifying that she was blindsided by the announcement of the breakup. Right. Not the breakup itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she accused Zach of discarding her. Wow. And not giving her a heads up. Yeah. Which seems to contradict his earlier statement about respect. This is where the social media aspect gets really interesting. All right. Because it becomes a platform not just for sharing news. Yeah. But... For emotional processing, uh -huh. accusation, All right. and even attempts to control the narrative. Exactly. But before we get too deep into that. Let's talk about what you, as an expert in public image and crisis management, see happening here. All right. Let's do it. Well, you've got two people going through something, you know, yeah. really personal and really painful. Yeah. In an incredibly public way. Yeah. And it's almost like they're performing their heartbreak. Yeah. For an audience that feels entitled to, like. Right. A front row seat. Yeah. And it seems like their social media strategies really reflect that too. Totally. Zach's trying to like right. maintain control <laughs> with a carefully crafted statement. Mm -hmm. And then Brianna's just kind of like. Yeah. Just putting it all out there. Raw and emotional. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know. Zach, despite his fame, has cultivated a more private persona. Yeah. His music is often very personal. Mm hmm but he doesn't tend to overshare details about his life. Right. Brianna, on the other hand, yeah. 
has built her entire brand around being open and relatable oh boy. online. Yeah. So it makes sense that their approaches to this very public breakup would reflect their existing online personalities. Right. And so do you think Brianna's feelings of being blindsided are genuine? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Even if the relationship was on the rocks. Yeah. Even when both partners understand that the relationship is ending, mm -hmm. the way that information is communicated mm. and the timing of a public announcement yeah. can have a huge impact. Right. It comes down to respect, even in the midst of a split. Okay, and it seems like she felt like he didn't give her that respect right. based on her video. Yeah, her reaction suggests that for sure. Yeah. And this is where social media becomes a double-edged sword. Uh -huh. It can be a source of comfort and support, right. as we see with Brianna's followers rallying around her. Yeah. But it also creates a platform for accusations, right. public shaming and judgment, which can escalate a situation quickly. And. Dave Portnoy's tweet definitely falls into that category. Oh, without a doubt. Whether he intended it as humor or not, yeah. it added fuel to the fire and put Barstool Sports squarely in the middle of this very personal drama. Yeah. It also raises questions about the company's culture and their approach to boundaries between personal lives yeah. and public content. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, you can almost see this whole thing playing out yeah. in the comment sections, can't you? Totally. It's like you can see both sides. Oh, absolutely. Errol and that's what makes these public breakups so fascinating, yeah. but also so messy. Right. It's not just about two people ending a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's about the public's reaction, mm -hmm. the media's involvement, and the way social media shapes and distorts the narrative. Yeah, in real time. In real time, yeah. yeah. And so how does this breakup compare to others? That's a good question. That we've seen play out um, in the digital age. I mean, there are definitely some common threads. Yeah. The battle to control the narrative. Yeah. The emotional outpouring on social media. The involvement of friends and colleagues. Yeah. And the constant speculation from fans and the media. Right. Those are all hallmarks of celebrity breakups in the 21st century. It's almost become a genre in itself, hasn't it? It really has. Like like public performance. Like a public performance of heartbreak. Of heartbreak, yeah. But it's important to remember yeah. that this is real life for the people involved. They're experiencing genuine pain uh -huh. and navigating complex emotions all while under a microscope. And it makes you wonder how much of what we're seeing is genuine. Right. And how much is influenced by this pressure yeah. to maintain a certain image or persona. That's a key question. Yeah. And it's one we may never have a definitive answer to. Right. But it's important to keep in mind that social media presents uh, a curated version of reality. Yeah. We're only seeing a small sliver mm -hmm. of a much larger and more complex story. Mm. So given all that, what do you think is the most important takeaway for our listener who's been following this whole thing? Yeah, it just feels like this whole thing really highlights how blurry those lines have become. Yeah. You know, like public persona and private life absolutely especially in the age of social media especially yeah it's almost impossible to separate the two anymore right particularly for those who've built careers on being open and accessible online mm -hmm. there's this constant pressure to perform even in moments of vulnerability and so where do we go from here like as consumers of this information how do we? That's a great question. How do we navigate this new landscape where heartbreak plays out in such a public way? Yeah, I think it starts with being more mindful of the content we consume. Okay. And how we engage with it. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get caught up in the drama right. and the speculation. Yeah. But we have to remember that there are real people with real emotions at the center of these stories. Yeah, it's almost like we're watching a reality show. But forgetting that these are actual lives. Exactly. Being impacted. Yeah. So instead of rushing to judgment or taking sides, yeah. maybe we can try to approach these situations with a bit more empathy and there understanding. Okay, and maybe a healthy dose of skepticism, too. Oh, for sure. Remembering that what we see on social media right. is just a snapshot. A snapshot, exactly. Often carefully curated yeah. and filtered. The truth is always much more nuanced and complex huh? than any social media post or soundbite can convey. Well, this has been such a fascinating deep dive. I really has been. appreciate your insights. Oh, of course. It's given me a lot to think about, not just about this specific breakup, yeah, but about the pressures of fame and the role social media plays in our lives. Yeah, it's a lot to unpack. Yeah. And for you listening, yes. 
Thank you for joining us on this deep dive. And thanks for listening. Yeah, we'll see you next time.